Ooh. Hey y'all, so Jeremy and I, we are night fishing. It's a little bit, uh, you see my light on my face, goodbye. I just said I'm free, be free young fish. Anyway, there was a mutton, it was a, you know, not a stature to keep, but it was still fun. Anyway, Jeremy and I, we are out here, it's a full moon, and uh, we're on a couple snapper spots. And uh, we got some mutton in the boat already, we got some mangroves in the boat already, we got some lanes in the boat already, and we're gonna keep working at it. So hey, y'all watch this and we're gonna kill it. Maybe not, but you know, we might. So watch anyway. Just for the record, Goliath grouper do eat at night. Sure do. Fred, we named him. His name's Fred. You can hear him going the drag. Jeremy's fighting Fred. Get him, buddy. You got him. Jeremy's using a snapper rod if you can't tell. Oh, Fred got away. There's a surprise. Oh, oh, baby. Yeah, that's we got a hook up that time, y'all. Big fish. Oh, yeah. Nice one. We are hooked up. Come on, away from the dark, baby. Out of here. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. You never know. Come on, up. Get up here. Up. Get up. Come on. Like a ton of bricks. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we got a Wow, look at that. Sweet mutton. That mutton fought like he was 20 pounds. Woo! Look at that, y'all. Nice mutton. Looks like he's a little short, but we're gonna check him just in case. Third mutton in the boat. He's going back, y'all. The snap is the snapping. <laughs> Big old fish, guys. Is he still there? He's still there. I got him. He about knocked the rod out of my hand. Gotta be paying attention. Gotta be the hairdo. Gotta be the hairdo, y'all. Snapper hair, and I just don't care. Oh, nice mangrove. Nice. Solid mangrove. Heck yeah. One in the cooler. You got Fred? I got Fred. Come on, Fred. <laughs> You're coming with me. <laughs> without a hit. Fred was sitting there chewing it. If Fred bends your hook, y'all, make sure you got your Dankos to fix it. Fred ain't no friend of mine. Again with Fred? Fred! Yeah. Did we just have this problem a minute ago? Fred feels like a shark this time. Come on! That was Barney. That was the rubble. Jeremy's on it. Get him! Mangrove! No, mutton? Mangrove. Mango. Oh, nice mangrove. Heck yeah! More thinner in the box. Heck yeah, nice one, bud. Don't know if you guys fish here a lot, but we got a serious shark problem. You gotta bring lots of hooks when you go fishing. You know, the hundred packs out here. I might fall in too, just, you know, I almost did. All right, y'all, so what we're doing, we got like a ounce, half ounce weight, some 30 pound pink Andy, and uh, some cut bait. Um, Blue Runner and all kinds of crap, and sardines and squid. And we're out here just trying to keep as light as weight possible. And what we're doing is we're casting around the boat. To see him to try to find out where they're hanging. I, I seem to have him honed in in his back corner, and Jeremy's not happy because, well, he's not fishing that back corner, but you know, sorry for his bad luck. What well, happens when you get the short straw? Short straw. Here we go, guys. I'm hooked up again. Let's see what we got coming in. I don't know. We'll see. It doesn't feel very big, but it's a fish. You know, fish are good. Oh, hey, could you hold that for me? He, he wanted to give up some of his last dinner. They gotta be eight inches. I try to keep them each. He's well over eight. Good uh, fried whole fish. One of my favorite fried whole fish. Very good eating. You get a couple of them, you fry up the basket. Good stuff. You free little friend. Huge. Huge. Tell you, I love to use fresh cut bait rather than dead bait. 
frozen sometimes, it holds up a lot better. You get a few more bites and you get a few more chances of setting the hook on a good fish. Yeah. I say that. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, fish on, y'all. Fish on. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Heck yeah. Not near a big mangrove. Oh, come on. Mutton again. Nothing about it, mutton. Check it out, y'all. Getting a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a great mango. Oh, I know he's short, y'all. Nice mutton, though, huh? One more in the boat. Make sure you tip your cap, y'all. Oh, hooked up, y'all. Got another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice fish. Come on. Woo, got to get him up quick. Mutton again. Well, if we're going for numbers, we got it. Nice mutton. Later, bud. Okay, we're throwing them back anyway. Fred. Got Fred, y'all. Come on, Fred. You're mine this time. You're going home. Come on up, Fred. You're done. Fred's coming up. I'm a little concerned. Oh. Oh yeah, we are hooked up, y'all. Looks like a good snapper. A nice mangrove. We'll see. Fish. Definitely a fish. What is it? Mangrove. Nice one. Look at that, y'all. Let's cash it in. All right, y'all. It's dark. <laughs> yeah. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. All right, we're old. It's probably like 9:30 at night. But that's besides the point. We're tired and we're going home, and we got some fish. So that's even better. So y'all stay tuned and see what we're gonna catch and cook today. It's gonna be great. It might be, it might not, but you know what? You gotta check it out to find out. Hey y'all, so Jeremy and I, we had a great night fishing. We got a bunch of snapper, we had a lot of fun. Uh, I uh, got this mutton here, nice legal mutton, and we're gonna kill them up here. And uh, I got this, I got this nice mutton. I got my Danko knives, right? Anyway, we're gonna chop this up. We're gonna go cook it off. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be wonderful. But just remember, use code Chef Outdoors ten and save ten percent at Danko. Chef Outdoors ten, save ten percent on Danko products at DankoPliers.com. Anyway, we're gonna get to this. As always, you know what I do. I go inside out. Go inside out of this nice, beautiful, fresh mutton. Knives are so stinking sharp, it's ridiculous. All right. Right down the back. Beautiful. Anyway, we're going to knock this out here. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. It's going to be yummy. Love mutton snapper. One of my faves. I don't know. If you like it, leave your favorite... Uh, recipe in the description maybe i'll make it or a version of it right so you never know what we're gonna do here we might be doing your recipe next leave your recipe down below let's see what it looks like and maybe we'll do that one all right just going right down here i got my big knife i love it for skinning right at the edge of the cutting board look at that that is a beautiful fillet let's get inside and cook this up see you in there what is up everyone so we had a great time, epic snapper bite going on. A couple old guys were, were like ready for bed. We could have probably filled the cooler. <laughs> it was a really good bite. Um, Jeremy and I had a lot of fun. We rode out on his blue water. Uh, it was pretty, it was a little choppy on the way out. You didn't see much of that. Then it glassed out, it was real glassy, nice and calm. Got set up, tried a couple spots. And we got some okay footage with some spreader lights. So you can see there is, there's a fish, we caught it, you know. We did good, we got a bunch of mangroves, probably like seven mutton snappers overall. Only one was a keeper. Um, but it was a good time. 
and what we were doing is having fun. And now we're gonna have some more fun. We're gonna cook some mutton snapper. All right, so we're gonna use Florida Boy Spice Co. Hillsboro Hot, and we are gonna cook up this mutton snapper. What we're gonna do is we are going to season the fish. We're gonna put in a little like flour, egg wash, and into some panko crumbs, and then we're gonna saute it. And then we're gonna make a sauce and some grits. And the sauce is going. We're gonna do like a uh, we're gonna do. Cajun mushroom leek mutton snapper. How's that? Woo! Big mouthful. Cajun mut Cajun mushroom leek mutton snapper. And since we're like in the Cajun thing, we're gonna put it over some grits, because you know, I like grits. So <clears throat> we're gonna have grits, kind of like shrimp and grits kind of idea, except you know I like my grits better because you know they're good. Anyway, we're gonna do the grits, we're gonna put them with the panko mutton snapper, and then we're gonna make this like Creole sauce with uh, mushroom leek, a little bit of cream, a little bit of woo, some chili paste, which will light you up, so be careful. And we're gonna finish it off with some chopped green onion. Uh, it's gonna be good, y'all. Check this out. We're gonna get our mise en place. What is mise en place? Mise en place is everything in its place as it should be. So, we got some sliced white button mushrooms. A little bit of fresh garlic, okay? And chili paste, <laughs> it's good stuff. Okay. Anyway, what we do have is we got some leeks. We gotta chop them up. Slice them up, chop them up. We got some leeks. All right, we got some green onion, you know, cause I like green onion. Some garnish, it's good stuff. And you know, I got a red pepper for a little color. Cause you know, red pepper looks good, tastes good. Cooks well, goes well with these ingredients. It'll be good. Let's knock this stuff out. We got some leeks, red pepper. Okay. We are done. Let's get to this. Let's get this fish ready and let's get cooking. All I'm gonna do is make like a little, uh, like, we'll call them snapper medallions, okay? There's one, there's two with my dinko knife. There's three. Put them out here, season them up. So there's our mountain snapper. We're ready to roll. What we got is we got Florida Boy Spice Co. Hillsboro Hot Chicken. It's the shit. Okay, it is very good, I, I like it. Because, you know, Florida Boy Spice Co. We bring the flavor, all right? And we're bringing the flavor. This stuff's great. It's got a kick, ha! Huh, and I like stuff that's got a kick. It's all good. Flavor in this is ridiculous. You want to get some, go to Florida Boy Spice Co. Facebook is probably the best marketplace to find it. Order you some up, but this is one of my faves, Hillsboro Hot Chicken. We got some water, some agua, caliente agua, some hot water, okay? And it's got a little salt in it. That's for our grits. What I also like to put in my grits, all the time is some milk, some cream, some half and half, something, because ha, it's good stuff. So that's gonna, what's gonna happen with the cream though is it gets real hot real quick and it boils over, makes a mess all over the stove. 90% of the time I overflow it. <laughs> so keep an eye on it. The grits are right here. Let's, you know, try not to do what we're gonna do. To whisk it. Don't forget to whisk your grits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring that up to a bowl. We're gonna mix in our grits. We're gonna set them off to the side, let them thicken. That's a quick grit, not a, a long-term grit. Now a grit is a southern man's polenta. What's a polenta? Well, that's a French man's grit. But today we're making grits, okay? Anyway, it's like, you know, coarse ground corn mealy stuff. And then we're gonna bring the flavor. That's what we're here to do. So, you know, get this, get this going here. All right. Hot Hillsboro hot fish. Did you see me? I'm seasoning and singing. You gotta sing while you season. You gotta, you gotta season and you gotta sing. You gotta bring the love, okay? Anyway, we're seasoning it up. So, season that up. Little flav going on here. Flave it. Flave it up good. Ha ha ha, good stuff. Okay, we also got over here, I got some panko breadcrumbs and cornstarch. Just a little bit of a mixture. Cornstarch keep things very crispy. I'll put a little bit of seasoning in there, but I don't want too much because I don't want it to burn. Keep an eye on that. It's going to boil over. Stay calm. Okay. Set our Florida Boy Spice Co. off to the side till we need a little more. You know, it'll be all right. Mix my grits. Come on. Whoa, so close. So close. All right. Come on, fellas. Lady grits, guy grits. Woo. It looks good. And I'm going to do, I'm going to let it boil a little bit. Cook it. Oh, yeah. It's the good stuff. Set it off to the side. Put my whisk in there, turn that burner off, those grits will be great. Might need to thin them out, cause you know I don't measure or follow recipes, I kinda make it up as I go along. I'm going into the egg wash. It's gonna go out of the egg wash, and go into the panko. 
I'm gonna go out of the panko. I'm gonna go into the grease. Ooh, yeah. Looking good. Turn it up a little bit, but it's pretty good. Good stuff. It smells good already in here. You got, can you smell it? Can you hear the sizzle? Because it's some good stuff. Right on. Oh, we got some bubble, some little bubble action going on over there. <laughs> it's going to be so good. So good. You ain't tried frying stuff in panko yet? Panko's good. Crispy, crunchy. Got a flavor, but it's good. Mm. Check it out, y'all. I'm looking good. Mm hmm. Good stuff. Getting ready to pull this out. I grab a plate and a colander or a rack. I don't like to put my fried food on paper towels. I don't like it sitting in its own grease. So, got a colander. Take some of this beautiful crispy mutton snapper out of here. And we're gonna make like our Creole sauce. It's really, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I don't know if I call it Creole, but it's in the style of. So, put that there. We're gonna put a little butter, because you know butter makes it better. Because you gotta have butter. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we got a little oil with our butter in the pan here, and we are gonna put our mushrooms in. Oh, yeah. Put our garlic in now. We're gonna put our leeks in there. Our peppers. So we got our mushrooms, our leek, and our peppers in there. We're gonna cook it down for a minute. Saute it up. A little bit of black pepper in here. Just kind of let it render down. We don't want to make it a big pile of mush. Just saute it a little bit. Oh man, does that look good? Woo, it smells good. So I'm gonna add the chili paste, which is gonna wake us up in the middle of the night because it's some strong stuff. I'm gonna add a little cream. And we're gonna let this all Make some goodness up in here. Oh yeah. Take our grits. Take a nice big scoop of grits. Look at that. And you know we're sharing, so make a big old plate. Look at that, looks good, doesn't it? Woo, our Creole sauce, I'm calling it. It's our mushroom leek mutton snapper with a Creole sauce. So what I wanna do, I want to get that sauce in here because that's important. That little chili cream sauce I made. Right? Ha ha ha, yeah. Mmm, does that look good? We're going to take our fish and we're going to put it around all of this goodness here. Oh yeah. We're going to finish it with some chopped green onion. We're gonna, we got a little, a little sprig for the middle. We're gonna finish it with a little more of our Hillsboro hot, cause you know, it's good. There you go, y'all, that looks awesome. Let's go eat this up. Hey babe, it's time to eat. So we had a great day, got a lot of snapper. It was a fun trip, middle of the night. It's a little eerie out there in the ocean, but I love it. It's actually very nice and peaceful and the moon was beautiful, so full. Um, but we're gonna get to this. this is our mutton snapper with our grits Pinko fried mutton snapper with Hillsboro hot Florida boy spice coast seasoning because you know we bring the flavor mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyway, we got a Mushroom leek mutton snapper and a Creole sauce with red peppers over grits. Let's get this. Let's get it Let's get it. I'm a little hot now Woo. It'll be hotter once you eat It'll this. It'll be hotter when Sounds like it's good. spicy. Oh, yeah. How do you get some of that sauce? That sauce there. is good. Grits. Oh God, really would you like a little garnish? So you know those leeks? Yeah. Superfood. Superfood. High five. Superfood. Yeah, food. but even crazier than that, they're good for shiny hair. Oh, I you like can make hair. a mask for your acne or your yeah. acne scars out of those leeks. Mm. Yep, and they're um, they're virtually fat free. Wow. I, I can't eat these. Oh, they're good they're for sunburn. Fat free. Sunburn too. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my. Which is good. Hot, right? 
But I got some mm, heat. The Hillsboro hot. And then I got that chili paste. Woo! Mm, Light you good. up. Yeah, we talked about the chili paste. It's not good for me. Mm. Mm. This is good. I'm not sure about the chili paste though, because you know, I don't think it's healthy for me. And that was a fermented chili paste. Oh, it wasn't right here. Maybe I need more leeks. It was a fermented chili paste. Chili paste is fine. This is not fermented chili paste. This is just chili paste. And Jeff in the bathroom. She doesn't like fermented chili paste. Mm -mm. I don't agree with me. Probably the fermented part. Oh, good. This is good. You know, it's really good when you eat it together, too. Like, it's a good bite. So you oh, take yeah. the mushroom and the leek and the peppers and the sauce right. and the grits and the fish. Oh, you shovel yeah. it in. Mm -hmm. So... It's good. I like spicing it. There's a definite kick to it. So if you're looking for a kick, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, good. Ooh. You said we would need water. Man, I tell you, that chili paste lights you up. Hillsborough hot's perfect. I put it on top. It's got such a good flavor to it. Maybe put it down without the chili paste? No, nah, I like the flavor. Mmm. The fish are good. Mm hmm Mutton snapper so crunchy with the panko. So glad I caught it. You didn't catch it. I know. I caught it. Just trying Girl. to steal credit for my fish. You guys are surprised. That ain't right. I usually catch the fish. It's true. It's good, y'all. We're going to sit here and finish this up. We are. You have a good night, evening, morning, middle of the night, afternoon, whatever it is. Tell your mothers, brothers, uncles, cousins, sisters to subscribe. We're not going anywhere. We're here for the long run. So subscribe. Tell me what you want to see. Yeah, tell we got me a lot more see. videos coming. Tell me what you want to see. Check out some Florida Boy Spice Co. seasoning blends. Check out Mark Johnson for some original artwork. Mm -hmm. And you know, you use Chef Outdoors 10 code at DankoPliers.com. You save 10%. So check it out. Thank y'all. And uh, take it easy. See you next time.